Hi guys, this is Vineet and in today's video we will talk about how you can shrink our database in SQL Server. But before we proceed ahead, I would request you guys to please go ahead and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, we have seen that almost 95% of users uh, uh, who watch my videos do not subscribe to our channel. So please subscribe to our channel. It, uh, it gives us support to sustain and create uh, any further videos uh, so please go ahead and do that um, I'm giving you five seconds uh, please go ahead and subscribe okay let's move ahead to notes uh, so uh, today's topic is how we can shrink our database in SQL Server so let's uh, go through some theory part before we come to the actual demo so shrinking data files recover space by moving pages of data from the end of the file to unoccupied space closer to the front of the file so basically what shrink operation does is it moves basically pages of data what is a page a page is a unit of data in sql server it's a eight, eight kilobytes in size eight kb in size a page size is eight kb so basically what shrink operation does is it moves the pages of data from the end of the file to the beginning of the file where the unoccupied space is there so it basically moves the pages to the beginning of the file from the end of the file so when this page movement happens there is some free space which gets created at the end of the file due to file mo uh, page movement from the end of the file there is some free space created at the end of the file and when there is enough space enough free space created at the end of the file data pages at the end of the file can be deallocated so at that time any of the data pages that do not contain any information which are at the end of the file can be deallocated and memory can be reclaimed or this space can be reclaimed and pages which are uh, deallocated are returned to the file system so this is basically a process uh, how we get the space after shrinking a database now there are certain restrictions that apply a data cannot be made smaller than the mini minimum size of the database so there is some initial size we define while creating the database so a database cannot be shrunk uh, below that size and uh, let's talk about that point which uh, which I am just discussing so minimum size is how minimum size is determined so minimum size was specified when the database was originally created or it can be a last explicit size uh, set by us while modif uh, while making any modifications on the file page in the database properties dialog box so last explicit size can also be set using the file size changing operation so whatever the uh, minimum size that was originally created or the last explicit size set by us a database cannot be shrunk below that size so here I'm taking a taking an example so if a database was originally created with the size of 50 MB let's say and it grew to 100 MB the smallest size data could be reduced to is 50 MB because that was the initial size of the database even if all the data in the database has been deleted it cannot be shrunk below 50 MB a data case cannot be shrunk while the data is being backed up and vice versa so we cannot shrunk a database while a database backup is being taken and similarly uh, opposite situation is also true we cannot shrink a database if a backup process is going on or we are taking a backup of the database at the moment a shrink operation is more effective after an operation that creates a large amount of unused storage space so when should we perform a shrink operation ideally it is useful to perform a shrink operation whenever we perform an operation on the database that creates a large amount of unused storage space so what are those operations operations such as delete statements uh, truncate table and a drop table operation 
these are the operations that create a huge amount of storage space so that space can be reclaimed by using the shrink operation some free space is required by the database for its day-to-day -day operation so there is also some free space needed by database for its day-to-day -day operation and if we keep on shrinking the database repeatedly we will notice that database size grows again so a, a some amount of free space is required by database for its day-to-day -day operation even if we keep on shrinking repeatedly it will reduce initially reduce the size of the database or it will reduce the space used by the database but later on we will see that that space is being consumed by the database again because why that is happening because that space is required by database for its day-to-day -day operations and uh, this is an indication that that particular free space is required for regular operations auto grow events necessary to grow the database file hinder performance so this is a generic statement so uh, we set certain auto growth settings on our files uh, to grow by a certain percentage if the maximum uh, space is reached so th those events basically cause uh, uh, performance issues or hinders the performance shrink operation does not preserve the fragmentation state of indexes in the database so basically shrink operations introduces fragmentation so that is what it is saying generally increases the fragmentation and uh, this is one of the reason behind why we should not uh, repeatedly shrink the database because it created, uh, creates the fragmentation and uh, to eliminate this fragmentation after the shrink operation we can rebuild there is basically a consideration given to rebuilding some of the indexes on the file after you shrink the database unless there is a specific requirement do not turn on auto shrink database option so that basically causes the fragmentation so that's why it's generally suggested not to turn on the auto shrink database option so now let's go through some of the demos so first demo is on shrink a database in GUI mode using the SQL Server Management Studio. So let's go through that. Give me a second, guys. So in order to do that, we need to go into SQL Server. So let's connect to SQL Server quickly. So once the SQL Server is open, you need to connect to your instance. Uh, it will connect it in the object explorer to the other instance we can expand on databases and we can right click on the database that we want to shrink and we need to point to task and there is uh, option to shrink and under shrink there are multiple options so there is a database option we can shrink a database or we can shrink a files so database option basically allows you to shrink any particular database now uh, what we are doing is we are selecting database we are shrinking a database so if we click on shrink database it opens up a shrink database dialog box so there are particular items displayed on this page so database there's a database section which shows which particular database we are shrinking so we are shrinking sample db here and it will uh, also shows us the database size under that it shows currently allocated space so 45 MB is allocated to this database and available free space it's stating is uh, 30.70 MB is free or 68% of this 45 MB is free in this database so what is currently allocated space Th this is the total of used and unused space for the selected database so this constitutes total space that is used and unused space for a selected database and what is available free space it displays the sum of the free space in log and data files of a selected database and there's also an option reorganize files before releasing unused space selecting this option may affect performance so what is this option 
so select this option is equivalent to executing dbcc shrink file um, dbcc shrink database statement specifying a target percentage option so give me a second guys so when you select this option it allows you to set certain percentage so it is equivalent to using a dbcc shrink database command in transact sql uh, by specifying a percent uh, percentage of free space uh, which is maximum free space in files after shrinking so that can be set like how much percentage you want as uh, free space as maximum free space in a file after shrinking and when we clear this option um, that is equivalent to using dbcc shrink database with truncate only option by default this option is not selected and when the dialog is opened uh, if this option is selected the user must specify a target percentage option and when we check this option we get a setting maximum free space in files after shrinking so that is uh, here we can specify a percentage of free space to be left in the database files after the database has been shrunk and permissible values are between 0 and 99 so let's perform this operation without this option so let's shrink our database so this operation is done this is how you shrink a database right click on the database task go to shrink box select database and just execute ok to, uh, to shrink the database click ok it shrinks the database now let me show you the, how you can shrink the database using t sql statement so you need to open up a new query so in this example we are shrinking a so we need to use the dbcc shrink database option in order to shrink the database and here we are shrinking sample db basically here we are shrinking the size of the data and log files um, in the sample db database and we want to allow for 10 percent of free space in the database so we are specifying 10 for that let's execute this statement so it is giving us some messages like uh, shrinking is skipped because there is no not enough free space to reclaim so shrinking is not done so there are no uh, major uh, table deletes or data deletes uh, within this database so yeah ideally using this uh, shrink, db shrink database operation is not useful at this time yeah but if uh, there is some major operation performed on the database like major deletion is done yeah shrink operation is useful at that time so what needs to be done after you shrink a database So after the database is shrunk or shrinked, shrunk basically, after the database is shrink, data is moved to shrink a file can be scattered to any available location within the file. And this basically causes the index fragmentation. We were talking about that uh, in our notes. Uh, fragmentation happens. We were talking about fragmentation and this fragmentation can slow down the performance of queries uh, that search uh, range of the index and to eliminate this fragmentation we can consider rebuilding the indexes on the file after shrinking so we will talk about how you can uh, rebuild an index uh, in my upcoming videos that i will roll out soon so stay tuned with us uh, please subscribe to my channel hit on the bell notification icon and select all notifications regarding my future videos and also please uh, click on like uh, please comment on my video and share this video with your friends and in, in case you feel uh, this video is useful for them um, thank you so much for your time on this video today and you have a wonderful day ahead